I had planned on putting this stuff together today and doing my tests and all that stuff. I gotta get this stuff on eBay. But before I do that, I am going to uh, take a look at this laptop again for my neighbor. He actually brought it by a couple weeks ago and asked me if I could install an SSD for his daughter. And I said, sure, no problem. Uh, I just figured, you know, a simple situation, open it up, plop in the SSD, you know, reinstall Windows 10 for him, all that stuff. Well, what I didn't know is that this thing is a, um, it's not a laptop, it is a notebook. And these things, in my opinion, are complete trash. <laughs> they're, they're junk. Um, if you look at an advertisement, it, it's pretty much advertised as a Chromebook alternative that runs Windows. The problem with that is that Windows is a much more heavy OS compared to Chrome. It takes up more gigabytes to install and all that crap. And HP and some other companies out there are making these little, uh, you know, these little notebook PCs or no notebook, you know, laptops. And they are putting 32 gigabyte, essentially 32 gigabyte SSDs in them, but they're soldered to the board. So there's no real way to upgrade them. Well, after doing, um, you know, a couple weeks ago when he brought it by, I actually tried to open it up. And this screw right here, you can see that I've kind of like screwed with it and it's loose and stuff. It's just stripped out and it will not um, un unscrew. So I actually unscrewed all these other screws. I pried it open and I looked in there and there is a SATA interface for like right behind these little vents right here. There is some space for an SSD or a, you know, a laptop size hard drive. So I started doing some um, research online and there is quite a few people out there wanting to do uh, an upgrade for the hard drive because this thing in its current state doesn't even have enough space to up update Windows 10 sadly. You know you, you install one or two things and it's completely full and there is no room to even update Windows. So in my opinion, I, I know they advertise it as a cloud-based um, laptop. Like, you know, you're supposed to be using, um, you know, OneDrive and all that other crap and, and having everything saved in the cloud to save space and everything like that. But I still think it's ridiculous to have 32 gigabytes available. It's essentially a, a big phone, <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, it's got 32 gigabytes of internal storage and it's got a SD card slot where you could actually you know expand that storage and stuff but it's the the business model is like a phone you got a limited amount of internal space you got cloud storage and an SD card slot so I think it's a terrible um, configuration I, I just don't like it um, after talking to my neighbor and I showed him the insides and stuff and I said you know you need to buy a little adapter to go between the hard drive and the laptop SATA power interface um, or or I won't be able to do this for you he kind of beat around the bush for a little while and um, knocked on my door like you know a week later and he had switched out the SSD and he had he had picked up a regular hard drive and he goes well he's okay okay so can you install this I said no I'm like this still has the exact same interface as that SSD and to tell you the truth you should have kept your SSD <laughs> I, I actually emailed him what he needed to buy and what I told him to buy after um, you know doing a little research and stuff like that is one of these laptop hard drive caddies and although this doesn't have an optical drive to use this 
I am going to remove this little um, piece of plastic in here. You know, it's going to be super simple just to open this up and use this little um, plug right here. The biggest thing that I have to do right now is get my Dremel out and I'm going to try to grind the head off of this screw without damaging this case too much. And I did try a lot of different little techniques with this screw, you know what I mean, like wedging underneath it and trying to get it to, you know, go like this and try to get to to go. And I just couldn't get it to go. I tried over and over and over, but uh, that actually kind of feels like it might. Oh, 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 that's actually more than I've gotten accomplished the whole time. What? Oh, look at that, you guys. After all that trying before, I was getting ready to start grinding on this thing, and I got it out. <laughs> ah, that's awesome, and I did it on camera. <laughs> Oh, that's excellent. That is excellent. All right, let's remove this battery. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It just that really worked out perfectly. Man, I, I was trying really hard before to um, pry that screw up. All right. Well, that just made my, my job a lot easier. That's awesome. All right, let's get these screws out. Now I got this little plastic card. It's actually for window tinting, but it works really good for situations like this. All right, here's that little SATA interface. That hard drive is going to fit right in this space, and those pegs are going to be in the way. So we are going to have to. Uh, cut those off. So let's go ahead and um, put this aside for a second and um, take apart this little optical drive bay. This should be pretty much straightforward. We got a few screws, one under the sticker. Oh. <laughs> well, um, everybody, viewers, before you start just thrashing stuff, you might want to flip it upside down and see if there's uh, six more screws that you might need to take out. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just get ahead of myself, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, four screws, it should be coming apart here. Let's just start prying on shit. All right. <laughs> Now we shouldn't have to really pry on anything. That comes apart super easy. Hopefully there's enough room for all this. But there's our little, our little deal. Now let's get this laptop. Not really a laptop. Fake laptop. This little deal and just plug it in. Bam. And then our hard drive will plug in right there. And to put two little pegs right here that are going to be right in the way of the S or the hard drive or SSD is a little bit inexcusable in my opinion. Watch now we'll take this hard drive and we'll plug it in right here. Hopefully. All right. Now what I'm going to do is um, get like a little bit of uh, Velcro or. I don't want to use double-sided tape because I don't want it to be hard to uh, remove in the future. After that, we're going to put it all back together and go into the BIOS, swap the boot order, install Windows 10, and see, see where we're at. So that's kind of exciting. Let's go ahead and um, see where this is, I mean, just right in the way of the hard drive. So at this point, I need to cut these off. Um, I could easily take a little cut cutting wheel and just grind these off real fast but I, I want to do it a little cleaner and I'm gonna see how well my uh, my knife does this oh my gosh that oops little scratch this thing this plastic is 
incredibly soft. Um, it looks like I'll be able to just take this blade and run it around the edge and cut it that way. So I glued these things back into place. Um, they're already, you know, fairly secured, but I'm going to let them uh, set up and finish drying for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, maybe longer, just to make sure. And in the meantime, we will work on securing this hard drive with some Velcro. I could probably get, get by with two squares, but I want to make sure that it's nice and secure. So we will do four. I think I'm going to rub this down with some alcohol. Definitely looks a little dirty. Like I said, four Velcro pads might be a little overkill. Alright, well, we got those peeled. Let's go ahead and plug this back in. Push that down. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, put this cover on and see what happens. All right, I got all those screws in. System information, let's see if it recognizes that SATA drive. I was able to confirm that the laptop is seeing that one terabyte hard drive. So now I'm trying to figure out what boot order that I need to be in to boot from the USB. USB diskette on key, USB hard disk. I honestly don't know which one I should choose. I guess I'm just gonna plug this USB in and reboot and see if it gives me the Windows 10 option. It looks like it might be trying to boot from the USB stick. All right. <laughs> um, I have to admit, I'm just slightly surprised. We are going to install Windows on the one terabyte drive. Getting files ready for installation at 1%. All right, let's let this do its thing and we'll come back. I mean, it's going, it's taking a while with this getting ready phase. I really wish you would have kept that SSD instead of this hard drive. Yeah, it was only 250 gigabytes, but it's a hell of a lot faster than this thing. Oh, here we go. Just a moment. All right, it's not bricked. So we are finally here at the welcome screen. She can turn all this crap back on later if she wants. I personally turn all this crap off every single time. Well, it appears that this is a success. All right, we are into Windows 10. And it looks like her battery is getting very low. All right, let's go ahead and check this PC. See what kind of hard drives we're working with. The local C at 918 gigabytes free. That's exciting. Awesome. It doesn't even have that other little hard drive showing up. That's cool. I can't believe this thing just lets all your apps look at all your stuff it's pretty insane so the truth it's actually not too bad as far as being snappy all right anyways i'm gonna wrap this video up it's already been way too long um hopefully this helps um other people to upgrade these piece of crap cloud books or whatever they call them so um windows 10 fresh install on a one terabyte hard drive it went fairly smooth even though the bios kind of confused me and stuff but um it's up and running and now i'm gonna just you know um run some updates to make sure everything's updated for her and then give it back to her hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in the next one peace